Hey everybody, how you doing? I am Justin Nightinger and it is Tuesday again. That just means it's time for another session of DM Saving Throw. As usual, we're going to kick things off in alphabetical order with my friend Casey. Hey everybody, my name is Casey Boyd. I'm playing Byron Bancroft. Welcome to tonight's stream. That one <laughs> I know. It, I threw you guys all for a loop. You're like, where's the smart I know, like? I'm waiting for the joke. <laughs> Hello. My name is Emily and I'm playing Maeve Donnelly. And I'm normally unprepared, but Casey just threw me off even more, <laughs> so I'm doubly unprepared. So also hello. Hello. Was I yelling? I feel like I was yelling. Sorry. <laughs> You're Nick's whispering. It's fine. <laughs> my, my name is Lisa. I'm playing Nick's the reborn cleric. And I am buffed up i am very excited to show everyone what i bought mm. in between our sessions me too i'm rob the orc paladin uh casper and we just went on a shopping spree and we're hella excited to kill somebody anyway okay anybody there's a there's a guy crossing the street right now he pulls his sword all right so are you a i cop? haven't talked about ah! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't talked about this in a while, but in case there's anybody new out there in the uh, in the audience, this is a hard R <laughs> rated stream. Um, not gonna say any names, but that Emily she curses a lot. Get your shit together, Emily. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, it's um, not. You're not wrong. I do talk about very inappropriate <laughs> topics on here, <laughs> like tiger wieners. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. What the, what happened with that? <laughs> I okay, on track. Track. Sorry, Lisa. The sorry, world sorry, sorry. will never know. Oh, I'll right. make sure they do. <laughs> so, uh, we are playing D&D 5e with a few homebrew rules in the mix. Something new. Um, apparently, we're not playing with uh, D&D Beyond Extension anymore because they hate us. Um, and they just don't want to produce it right now. Uh, lastly, uh, there's some stuff in the middle. That is Tailspire. It is sweet, sweet goodness. And if you play D&D, you should probably pick up a copy. Uh, we're not sponsored by them, but we do love their product. Anybody have any questions before we kick up the recap? Nope. Okay. So last week, uh, well, first off, Maeve took a nap almost the entire session. Um, not because she wanted to, but because she couldn't be here. Uh, but after that, they fought Wormroll. Uh, Nyx almost died. Be um, you guys killed that tough, tough bastard. You got his lance. Casper had a glimpse of his goddess. After that, you found out the area was built by dwarves who were outcast, and they worshipped Morden. They then met up with the mayor of the island, got their reward, fed Harrington the Haragon some rabbit sausages, left a pig that could speak to die, and headed back to the city. <laughs> Oh, and they leveled up. So, welcome to ne level nine, guys. Woo woo. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, it was kind of anticlimactic for my uh, character progression. <laughs> she woke up, wiped, wiped the drool off her face, and was like, oh shit, I feel strong. So, uh, last week we gave inspiration to Kite Sage. Kite Sage, uh, I think I saw you in the chat. Uh, that means that you can give me advantage or dis disadvantage uh, whenever you need to, or you can give the PCs advantage whenever you'd like. Uh, this week, Emily, you're going to be chicken chicken. You're going to be picking the uh, the person in chat for inspiration. So um, everybody, I got it. Uh, I gotta say, Miss Print is not looking so good in the races right now, <laughs> making more jokes about two attacks for monks. I just stay right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh everybody keep being awesome and uh we're gonna kick things off talking about the level up anybody want to go first or we start in alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order don't do that to us all right rob hey hi <laughs> no. hi guys how's it going uh paladins at level nine are very exciting um they get a whole two level three spell slots uh and so i had a tough time deciding because i'm frontline and i don't have proficiency in con saves and i don't have advantage in con saves so um i had to pick a little carefully so i decided to go with the good old revivify because i know we're gonna need that uh <laughs> and a few diamonds to back that up and then dispel magic to be a little more utility and aura of vitality to heal people 
So I'm excited nice. to use all of those. Awesome. Especially Revivify. Awesome. Wow, it's like he is asking for us to die, you guys. Begging, even. Yeah. Oh, done and done. I <laughs> just see last game. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, clerics don't get as much fun stuff when they turn level nine. I don't have that. But what I did have was a very interesting encounter with a shady businessman traveling on the ship as we flew back to Donvers Hold. And Nick's in a moment of weakness which she will absolutely not be admitting to her friends, but she may or may not have sold off Clem's fury, Clem's arm that she got after her friend died. Whatever. The point is, I'm loaded and I bought myself a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> Most notably, we have an amulet of the devout, uh, as well as some, a broom of flying and a couple of other cute things but i'm very excited that between my wand of the war mage and my amulet of the devout my girl is locked and loaded oh it's me now i told you that this backwards alphabet would not work <laughs> I, well yeah for me. reverse order um i had such a big power up from moving up to level nine are you ready are you ready this is everything i got i got unarmored movement improvement and two attacks that's it What's your I already have the two attacks, so I can move along. I can finally move along vertical surfaces and across liquids without falling during the move. That's pretty big. But I have never been so happy to roll a natural one in my life as I was today, because it let me get a freaking awesome weapon for super cheap on the scale, and I bought a staff of striking, which is amazing and just lets me do more damage and better attacks and all that jazz. And uh, Maeve also got herself a <laughs> tattooed uh, with an Eldritch Claw tattoo, which will allow her unarmed strikes to become magical. Quick, to put basically. you on the spot, what does the tattoo look like and where is it located? For some reason in my head, it was like mean. finger tattoos, kind of, so that it it's works. A like, yeah, it's a mustache. It's a mustache. Yeah, like, like, like this is, a, no, it's like a knuckle, ta it's like knuckle tattoos because, you know, it's supposed to affect her unarmed strike. I mean, it affects other stuff too, but for the most part, that is the Dragon. benefit of having it. <laughs> no, she would never. But no, my, my thought is it's like knuckly finger tattoos, just some sort of like maybe little like triangles meant to look like claws or something across the knuckles of each of her hands okay. d-r-g-n does that mean <laughs> does that mean she has 10 eldritch claw tattoos if there's one on each i'm just kidding nope, i'm not saying it, that it equals up to 10 that's <laughs> yeah it's, yeah it's one one is, is 10 of them lose a finger it's 0.9 so oh no you'll have to figure that out there's there's guys out there with uh with very sharp scissors that look to be going only for hands <laughs> No! <laughs> Is it me? Can I put it in a jar? <laughs> we'll continue to crawl around. <laughs> yes. Casey? Okay. Uh, Byron got level nine, so his um, proficiency went up for all of us who are spellcasters. Um, and I got synaptic static. And I got Teleportation Circle. Also swapped out some spells that I just never seem to be using um, since we leveled, because uh, bards swap on level up. So I uh, changed out some spells, trying something new. We'll see how it all works out. Um, Byron picked up uh, a few interesting things. Um, I was gifted a uh, headband of intellect, uh, so that'll help with some saving throws from... Maeve, she's so you're gonna look so beautiful in it. Yeah, it's uh, it's very pretty on him. Uh, I picked up uh, an immovable rod, some armor, uh, slippers of spider climbing, and my coveted possession is wand of magic missiles. Byron ever expire <laughs> ever aspires to be a uh wizard and just does not seem to be able to make the cut so he does his next best thing and fakes it um i would like to petition that casey make himself a fake headband of intellect to begin wearing during streams from now on well we have to hit a specific thing before a uh, number of stuff i forget what it was before we start cosplaying mm. <laughs> 1k 5 
papers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Darn it. Um. We'll get there. Uh, are you looking? Looks like you're looking for a headband. Is it gonna be? Oh, it's a cable. There we Here go. Here we can. Uh, wow. We'll make it work. <laughs> now we just need to buy Rob that not a copy. Oh my god! <laughs> <goodness. laughs> oh, yeah. beautiful. You look smarter Stun already. It. Yeah, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Something oh, tells right. me you're not being honest. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, you guys got your stuff. Um, for everybody in in chat, so the reason why they were able to get as much stuff as they were is I changed up the way that they were buying things for magic items. Uh, it added a little bit of uh, chance to whether or not they found something at a cheap price. And uh, it took the haggling out because it, I hate it. I just <laughs> I don't like doing it. Um, but essentially, uh, on the magic table, they got to roll a die, and uh, that die correlated to a specific price of the product. Um, I tell you guys, but it's a good system. But Justin has now turned us all into greedy little bitches who just uh, turned. I turned you into that. Money. Well, Emily and <laughs> you guys, I, we corpses in the, of the middle of. Not, but... Yeah, they're like, and roll initiative. You're like, I loot that box. Well, what was that box doing there if it wasn't for us to be looted? True. <laughs> True. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah, why are you just putting boxes in the shaming game? The boxes. <laughs> so um, I believe that some of you guys had to attune your stuff. Um, does anybody have any slots left open? Uh, technically, no? I do because we haven't done the Lance thing yet. I uh, I can have attunement slots open if I take off the headband I'm just wearing to take up a spot. Okay, but everybody else is kind of uh, at the once, at the end of the. Once I attune, I will have no spots. Yep. Yeah, okay. I, I would happily upgrade if I got better <laughs> items to attune to. So. Yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> yeah, what are you offering, Miss Justin? My amulet and then my headband of necromatic control, which I'm just not quite. I'm too sentimental. You haven't used that yet. Um, Wow, you're too the sentimental music. to give up the headband of the neck control. The horse disagrees. Dude, we got that early. <laughs> we got that at like level three. I like, don't remember that using like a... that anytime recently. Uh, well, yeah, no, I recently. Used it too but... much recently, yeah. Because now that I've got Ray's dead, and it's just you know. But I'm so, but it's my it's, it's my special headband. <laughs> okay, I'm not to get rid of it. Okay. So, um. You guys start to attune to everything. Um, we'll say that uh, you were able to do that on, um, you know, as you're as you're buying stuff. Like uh, one person would go into one shop, and there'd be a montage. And while that was happening, uh, somebody could attune to one of their things. Um, uh, Maeve, you're able to attune to all your stuff. Uh, Casper, you're gonna attune to the lance. Yeah, I imagine we do that on the airship as we're going back. He's just sitting in his room alone, and he has the lance on his lap. Oh, God. What do you do? Lightning's going to strike through the <laughs> ship, and we're all going to crash in the ocean and die. <laughs> yeah, Eldath's like, what are you doing in that room? Put that lance down. <laughs> um, so you're you're sitting there, and you I imagine you're sitting cross-legged. You have this big-ass lance in, in your lap, and you are <laughs> yeah, tuning does. to it. <laughs> and uh you got two big ass lances in his lap now as as you start attuning you hear a couple of voices in your head you hear hello 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 who are, who are you who are you oh no <laughs> cats are just like oh oh god um hey this is uh, Casper. I'm a paladin of Eldath. Who is this? New Lance, who this? I'm the Lance, the Lance. You sound like a cop, a cop. <laughs> uh, is this... <laughs> You're going to be <laughs> talking a lot, or is this kind of a... It depends intro? how much you piss me off, off. Oh. Um, okay. But essentially, because that would be annoying to talk like that through all of it, the lance goes in to tell you that uh, it is, it's a sentient lance. Um, it has been alive for a very, very long time. Um, but when it was fractured, it essentially went insane. 
it needed to find its other half. Uh, and as it's talking, the voice stops repeating as much. It still repeats some, but it's starting to become more one voice instead of two fractured parts. Well, I know it was a traumatic experience for you to be broken in half, so um, uh, glad to have you as my weapon. Um, if you need anything, let me know. Do you like killing and bloodshed, or prefer that to take a backseat? It is up to our wielder. Oh, good. But That makes things easy. We can help. Um, and it goes over what it is. Like, it's a plus three lance, and it has the ability to use, uh, was it time stop? Uh, one time. It is a legendary action, so every day you have to roll a d6 um, to see if it works again. But that is a very broken lance. It's a shame you have to give it back. Hmm... Actually, it was a broken lance. Ah! Hey. I'll give you inspiration if I didn't already last time. He gave us all inspiration last time. Yep. Uh, uh, Maeve, also, you get to have inspiration as well, even though Thank you weren't you. here. She was it's, asleep. it's the level nine min inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, you guys get back to Donver's Hold. Uh, not much has changed in the 12 to 15 days that you've been gone. Uh, I know in real time, it's been, what, three, four months. But in game time, it's been 12 to 15 days. You, I believe you wanted to stop at Io's shop, which is called the Broken Horn. Uh, yeah, I think that as, pretty much as soon as we land, I think that there's kind of this, uh, we probably have some kind of conversation along the way of, Okay, we have to keep the lance safe as soon as we get into town. We can't risk anyone even knowing that we have it. And as soon as we land, we go straight to Io and turn it in. Right? Uh, well, I have some thoughts on that. Um, this is a... <laughs> this is a really strong weapon. Um, and it's an artifact of Eldath. And she asked me to keep it safe. Did did know. we know that it was an artifact of Eldath? I'm sorry, did we know? Did we know that she told you to keep it safe? I I don't know if he told you that. Hmm. You know, hmm. this is uh, well, this is awfully convenient, <laughs> Casper. I was just I, you're, gonna say this you're, is real convenient. You're trying to keep us from excuses. you're trying to keep us from getting like three k worth of gold piece here. Like that's uh, I think. Cannon, Holy shit! We were supposed we to get three k a piece. Yeah, oh, you better give that lands up. In all fairness, mm. you should be able to get awarded. Just tell everyone that you're Clem when you arrive. It's fine. Sure. She died. She was worthless. Don't worry about it. I, doubt she I only met her once. She won't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I it's a shame you don't have an arm different. that you can put on her. <laughs> Nick starts sweating. <laughs> That's a terrible plan. We're definitely not. <laughs> Well, on a serious note, I think that this lance is um, needed for the prophecy, saving the world, all that good stuff. Wow. Mm. Nyx flips open her yeah. Necronomicon and starts flipping through the pages, reading off the prophecy from the Heralds of the Dawn. She says, I know there's nothing in here about, about a lance or about keeping it. So um, are you maybe uh, thinking about the portals that had to open? No, this I think this would be used against the dragons in the fight of, against the dragons. But another thing to consider, we're giving this kind of random person a super powerful artifact. Um, she's not that random. I, uh, I've, I've known her. You're right. She was a fucking asshole to us when we saw her last. Um, it's even worse than random. Wrong. You are thinking of another individual, which... We won't oh, bring up in was... front of Io. Yeah, you're thinking of Emily. That was the first. Okay, I thought Io was the person. Who Ms. Was Davenport, we, remember yeah, we? We would <laughs> we would like to we would like to point out for all those who are new, um, we're not talking about our co-streamer. Yeah, really great oh, yeah. job oh, naming that bitch oh, of a no, character, so Justin. 
<laughs> that wasn't me. Yeah, that was Casey. Oh, yeah. Casey. Casey. I mean, all I'm going to say is on point. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shaki oh! No! Dare. How dare. I, I would like to say <laughs> our notes only says that we're getting 3K each for collecting the pieces of the land. Yeah. And nowhere does it say too. giving it to her. We can show it to her and get our gold. Okay. I'm okay with for that. the notes. And as we let's, know, the uh, notes are let's, what counts. Let's just have a discussion with her. We might be able to come to an agreement. I've uh, I've I've given her time. less and she's taken more, so <laughs> Wow. Uh <laughs> I, I don't want to stop us from getting the money. I just think that it's an important thing. Yeah, no, we uh, we, we understand that you have become attached to the new toy, and we get that. Okay, but... listen, I sense some judgment because I didn't tell you about the Elbath <laughs> talking to me thing. So I also got to tell you, this Lance talks to me as well. <laughs> there, there's a lot of things talking to me lately. <laughs> Um, insight. If I wasn't a paladin <laughs> class, this would be really weird. But, um, so yeah. Eldeth told me it was really important. And then also, the Lance talks to me. Sh sure it does, buddy. Um, are there any other secrets that anyone else would like to get out in the open? I sold Clem's arm. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> you what? I, I wasn't. Her arm? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a in it. I just hmm. okay, but that's all. But that's the only scene. But it didn't talk to me before I sold it. So okay, now that the air is all cleared, we can wow. turn in the lance. How am I, I the I... one that is like not trying to get away with something here? Like how? I, I'm the one that's supposed to be the sneaky, shifty one, and you guys are like, what? What is happening here? You're falling behind. I, I, yeah, I it's guess I, secrets. I am. I'm not just as dishonest as you guys. I mean, I guess there's a limit. Even I'll stop. Oh uh, please, oh please. Oh, not as honest as us. Don't worry, Maeve. I still have your traitorous cousin dead inside of our bag. So thank you. <laughs> Oh, we should go visit my family. Yeah, I'm gonna pass so on bad. that one. <laughs> we have a um, we have a grave site if you need a place to bury your cousin. Gotta if go to the family cemetery. Yeah, dumpster. How much do you like this cousin? <laughs> Why is everyone beating up on me today? I thought he was a traitor. Why does he get a burial? He, and a, what I assume was, was that my church. Oh, he had one of those pillars on. We don't know that he was a traitor. Actually, I think we've now proven that uh, they weren't a traitor because they they were afraid Charanosk would stop them, which means the Red Dragon, which means they were trying to get the Lance to the evil giant. That's confusing. Were they evil? I'm con I, Maybe they were bad. Either way, <laughs> I think they were just enslaved, which you can't really fault anyone for what they do in slavery. Either way... He needs to be buried in the family plot. That would involve going to your family, though. Right? My family is fucking great, y'all. And they are how far away from Donver's Hold? Jijin? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. Uh, redirecting we've, got a, we've got a world map. <laughs> they are uh, they're pretty far away. Um, you could definitely go there if you would want to. Um, they're like so far. Oh, they are pretty far away. Oh, um, it'd be so fun to go and see them. A real party. I call Might be able to make some money on the, on the side while we're out there. Do some pilfering. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I said I called dibs on dumping the traitor out in front of him. <laughs> that one that one broke, Lisa. I, I <laughs> dare you. I dare you to do that. I, I just will. dare <laughs> you to do that in front of my granddaddy. Just you wait. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, Byron. Oh no! I just uh, apparently a prophesized individual that's supposed to take down a literal god is going to get 
beat up by your grandpappy. I think that's going to be you an interesting. You have not met my granddaddy. You have no idea. Why isn't he adventuring with us? If he's that strong, bring him in here. We need to kill something. Yeah. He is he's running the strong. family business. <laughs> the world could is that a, him. Is the family business above board? Oh, well, now we know I where mean, your cousin gets in. <laughs> do i only uh i only tease you i mean i think we've all stolen something i mean i've stolen a lot of stuff from prowler casper stole my heart i mean there's there's something from all of us <laughs> he's blushing <laughs> oh, look at him he's <laughs> Casper for response to this Casper, I should like, have about to be like uh, I do not do anything bitch <laughs> let's see Lisa like, what is yeah. their couple name okay that's is it Passron Viper mm, Vipar Ky is not it Chiron <laughs> Chiron Mm, cute. Mm, it's cute. Yeah, yeah. I like it. We are We're here you for Kyron content. We head to you, Iuharo Don Whisperer. Uh, Maeve, no. Maeve, I you, Casper. <laughs> Maeve, you feel your pocket get warm. Why the fuck do I feel my pocket get warm? The I'm pocket that had the sending stone in I'm it. I'm sorry, I peed in it. I have sending <laughs> stone in my pocket? Oh, oh, the one that was at my cousin's body? Ooh. Yes. I pick it up and I hold oh. it to my ear. It and says, that's not how that works. Shit, that's too many words. <laughs> how the fuck does it work? I don't know. Um, you you pick up the, the stone and as your fingers uh, rub across the top of the arcane runes on top of the stone, you hear in your head, two days, meet me at the loose moose back room during the foam party. I know this isn't Shay. Did you just say foam party? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to that foam party. <laughs> like foam as in we're going to fight with foam or foam as in like we're getting drinks that have foam on them? No, oh, like you, you no, would know. You don't know what you, a foam, foam party, party is? Byron, you would you would know I'm that. super not cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm finding a Google image now. So uh, is it like Byron, a jello fight, but with foam? Well, it's like a, a, a dance party party like a going yeah. to the club but there's yeah everywhere. that's what yeah, i yeah. assumed okay yeah it's wow. so sticky yeah. yeah just so everyone's wow. aware i'm a dad oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ain't getting so sticky coming from one of the people Whoa. who gave convinced to do a jello wrestling fight earlier in the campaign just so we're aware i'm cutting that out justin <laughs> <laughs> um all right so that that happened. I don't know if she tells you, but you're on your way to I. You guys, okay. Y'all, listen. A, whoever my cousin was talking to, he knows that it is not Shay with this stone anymore. But more importantly, he wants us to meet him at some place called the Loose Moose, where there's going to be a foam party, and we really need a party after these I past couple of weeks. Byron knows exactly where that is. So. You guys all have been there except for Maeve. That's where Bartholomew was, the guy with the hat turned backwards. This was very, very oh, early oh, on. Yeah, 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 I knew Liz Moose sound time ago. I, yeah. I recognized it personally because I remember that at one point I was going to design a logo for it because I thought it was mm -hmm. hilarious. It was called the okay. Moose. But it's in two days' time, and we still yep. don't know who this mysterious voice is. But just, I know you're not Shay. Okay. Well... We can certainly go to meet them. We might have some more information on your dead cousin. Listen, I would love to find out what was going on there. We will. Be a trap. And then we'll return them back to your family plot. Um, Perfect. That... If it's a trap, it's a chance to use your new pokey stick. That's true. Unless that we've turned it in for 3,000 gold awesome apiece. If I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> that okay. That could actually be kind of... A... Actually, by... <laughs> By Justin's system, we can sell it for far more. <laughs> 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 You're not Interesting um, proposition. I didn't recognize the voice that was the sending. That was through the sending stone, right? Uh, I mean, I don't think you could. Okay. You can you can try for like a history. 
Oh, you mean with my no longer plus four from my headband of intellect, my plus mm -hmm. zero? That's a natural one. Uh, <laughs> you're, you, you actually think that the way the sending works is it's like <laughs> robot voice. It's like one of those uh, C and say things where you push the buttons in and that's how you think it works. That tracks given that I tried to hold the sending stone up to my ear like a telephone. Yeah, pretty much. So you guys end up at the Broken Horn. I think and... By Byron would probably lead that in. Okay. You guys go in. Uh, you know that she keeps all her stuff in the back. Um, and she is in there. Is this map the map? So can we move? Is yep, you can move. Yep. Do, 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 do. yep. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Byron will come in and he'll kind of knock on the door in his like normal rap to let her know that it's him. It's like I don't know if you can even hear that. It's like you know two two short raps and one long. Okay. And uh, she shows up, and she's like, Byron? I didn't think you'd be back this quickly. I'm, come, come in, come in. Is she upstairs or down? She's downstairs. I saw that there was two of them. She's on the, the bottom floor in the back. Okay. Um, bring it in. I'll just say, uh, I owe you, uh, you remember the others. We... Uh, yeah, we're this group's efficient. This isn't uh this isn't like my one man smash and grabs. These are you know, professionals. For you. I um I'm glad to see you moving up in the world. We did it. We got it. We killed you a did. lot of people to get it, actually. A lot of huh. rabbits. A lot of rabbits. That's amazing. I, I I'm glad. I'm glad that you're you're back, but I was, I, I didn't, I didn't know if you were gonna come back. I actually thought you probably, if you would have gotten this, she would have sold it. It's worth much more than three thousand gold apiece. Well, so, kind of wanted to talk to you about that. So this guy's a paladin, and apparently the thing is talking to him, and he claims that it's of his god, and he's some. Um, chosen disciple and hey, you don't have to say her, it like tell that her, tell her about the prophecy I won't tell yeah her. no that, that's not needed so what? anyway <laughs> well wait why do you why do you want the lance if you don't know anything about the prophecy <laughs> that we're talking about i don't know if there's more than the one we're doing but well guys hey. you remember she was hired by the dawnless knights or <laughs> it was uh the, that's not the right um, name Order of the Reborn Knight. There we go. Yes, that's that's one hundred percent correct. She was hired by them to get you to do this, as well as to go to the library to grab a book uh, called "A Reoccurring Fur Fury: A History of Randomly Appearing Dragons" by H. G. Wensra. Which we're still more than happy to bring back for you at some point. As long as that one also doesn't start talking to one of us and is part of a magical destiny. If, she, Paolo, if you don't mind me saying so, it doesn't seem like you planned on us coming back with a lance at all. Well, she is uh, used to dealing with me, and you can't really fault her with that. I've, I've been known to abscond with a few things if it could make me a little bit of extra money. Well, if you don't mind me asking, even the amount that you had stated you would be giving us if we brought the lance back, um, if you weren't planning on us coming back with it, do you even really have that money? Oh no, I totally have the money. And she goes over to a, uh, a little wall safe, you know, looks over her shoulder to make sure you're not looking, does the combination. We're all looking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right at it. Uh, she hear her mutter. Oh, I'm gonna change that combination, and uh, she she gets out a uh, a sack of gold with exactly twelve thousand gold pieces in it. It's a big ass sack. Yep, that is a 
<laughs> it's actually it's actually a little sack that's an extra dimensional space, and she oh. opens it up, and there's twelve thousand gold. Uh, well. So, uh, what if we just <laughs> um, kept it? One second. Uh, I'm getting a thing saying that Lisa's mic's a little quiet from uh from Mike. Sandy can't hear. All right. See, and I I feel like I keep spiking. I can see myself on Discord and it's picking up everything. I don't know. I appreciate you pointing it out, Mike. I'm I'm still fussing with the settings. Here, try that. I cranked her up to about 163%, so we'll see what happens. Thank you. Oh. Let's see if that works. All right. Well, let us know. Um in the short term, what were you saying, Casper? Uh, what if we just kept it? Do you really do you need it from us, or is us getting it enough? She uh, she looks a second, and she walks over to a piece of paper, kind of reads it, and she says, um, "Bring back the uh, the book, and I guess we could talk about that." Okay. I think we can do that. Uh, okay. In the meantime, it looks like you're already attuned, so... <laughs> That's true, I, I did attune to it, yeah. And I, I do... There are voices in it that talk to you. Uh, so, they don't say... So far, they haven't said much, but they're there. I'm here. I'm talking all the time. Why, why, can't, you, uh, why can't you just understand that we're here and we love you? It is so nice finally being the person who is not the one with the voice in their head. <laughs> IRL or? <laughs> no, in campaign. Because okay. um, you've killed everything that's tried to love you. <laughs> hey, we handed off the one to a mayor and let her maybe or maybe not kill it. We don't know. I didn't kill Lilo. I gave uh, her to my daddy. Yeah, exactly. So therefore, the only thing we've killed is Brianna. And, and then she killed Clem, so there was no trace back to that dog. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't necessarily trust Iohara. Well, I don't trust her with anything. But I definitely don't trust her if we're going to bring a book back. And she's like, no, 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 you can take the Lance. Lance is fine. But like now I want this book instead, which is worth um, way less. Now she's getting two missions out of us for 3K instead of our original mission. Mm -mm. Nope. No, she the said she book was a thousand. Book. Oh, she gave us more. I miss yeah. up her. But again, I'm but it's distracted like by cute kittens on the internet. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I think Byron would be completely like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. No, guys, it's fine. It's fine. He he would like vouch on her behalf entirely. Nix's uh, side eye is not business. That sounds good. I'm just kidding. The lance might be bloodstained by the time we get back, but. I mean, on the positive side, we fought some really creepy, crazy uh, giant that, I mean, kind of pay attention to him now because that dude's going to be insane here in a little bit because that Lance was talking to that guy. I can't imagine what it's going to do now that it's like two voices in his head. True. Anywho, uh, yeah, so he like put the Lance back together for us. So, you know, another thing knocked out of the park. So library, huh? I could that... try removing curse on the lands. That seemed to help with the voices last time. Casper, maybe just hand it uh, over. What? Oh, no, I don't think it's a curse. I think uh... they just are really lonely and need someone to talk to. That and unfortunately, like they got me. Sure, buddy. Oh, that's that's <laughs> right. We're here for you. You're doing such a great job. I really, we appreciate you. And uh, what does Eldath have to say about these voices in your lands? Uh, Eldath didn't elaborate on that, so. Mm -hmm. um, Have you told Eldath that you're hearing voices in your head? No, no, no. Have you talked to your therapist? I, I, so I, you I, haven't I, even told her? I don't get to talk to Eldath. <laughs> she talks to me. What do you think of right, she's, very important. <laughs> she's really important. <laughs> I talk to Sarah every day. <laughs> You're telling me you haven't even are told you, sure you it's haven't not even one of her secretaries because they do that. You are a terrible paladin. I'm sorry. They, I talk I to Elbaz paladin or uh, secretaries all the time and oh my God. relay the message. Oh my, Saren, right? Casper. This is Casper. Who is this Eldath? <laughs> who is this Eldath? <laughs> 
Can I? I don't know. Roll... I don't know how to punish a lance. I can see the look, of, the look of that... guilt on this orc's face. <laughs> Eighteen. Roll for guilt. Uh, <laughs> that's the look of a man who hasn't told his god about the weird talking voices of a cursed spear yet. So uh, while you guys are over there um, chastising Casper, uh, Io. Io slips over to Byron and uh, just just takes him along the side and is like, um, um, it's, I'm glad you made it back. I, I wasn't sure. This seemed a little bit more dangerous than what we're used to. Yeah, you didn't tell us that, though. Like, shit, Io, like, we went to this island and it was infested with, like, wyverns and red dragons and fire giants and people trying to kill us. Like, you're lucky you're seeing me. She, uh, she looks at you and, and smiles. She's like, you're a little bit harder to kill than that. I mean, I would have left them to die and made it back, but, like, I kind of need them for stuff right now. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, um. Oh, I'm just saying. Try to... Bigger picture. Like, this is a good crew. We need them for stuff. So, you know, bigger plans, bigger jobs. Yeah, you're right. Um, you're right. You're right. I will, um, let me, let me try to find some, some better stuff for you guys. It's, uh, it's been a while since we've had anybody this, uh, this good to be able to take care of stuff. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna work out, I think. I um uh, and and she uh to to make it seem like she was just getting stuff for you, she brings over Casper's shirt um and puts it in your hand that you guys had ordered. Sweet, we got it. Um What the fuck is that? Uh well so I forgot you're new here. Um Casper kinda has a, a look about him. Guess what it is? Like he oh. just starts flexing. Yeah, no, that's not it. He looks like a cop, and will like kind of flop out the t-shirt. <laughs> wow, that is just stunning, beautiful. It's too bad you don't have a hat to match this. Uh, doesn't match, <laughs> but we got a hat. Um, by the way, have you been to Donver's Hold? Like, do I need to? Do we need to show you around? Have you been here before? I can't say that I have. Oh, well, we should give you the tour. As long as we end up at the loose moose in two days. Uh, we could probably do that. I think we need to go to the library and we can just wrap this up, finish up this quest, and, you know. Oh, listen, I gotta ask, why is getting a book from the library worth 4,000 gold? <laughs> because books are amazing. Rob. Just power. <laughs> Because right, what's gonna go like, wrong? Oh, yeah. why, do you, why do you know that we don't? Careful, you're triggering the actual real life library. <laughs> <laughs> um, she she looks at you and she says, um, I, "I I don't know. This is uh, the the order. They must want you to see what's in that book. Maybe it'll tell uh -huh. us why you're the chosen one." I mean, I'm just okay, saying, you're, you're not, you're not, so you're not floating or anything. Just... Okay. <laughs> All right. Fine, but I want, I want to read Is... whatever's in that book before we hand it off. <laughs> I meant to whisper that. <laughs> so no, she, nor, uh, normal whisper, got it. <laughs> she, Io looks over at you and she's like, you, you realize you're inside. There's no need to scream. I'll get it. Is this because you? Is this because you're uh, dead? <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I look so lively. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get the book and we'll bring it back, and we'll decide then what to do with the lance. Agreed. Okay. In, in the meantime, I'll reach out to my contacts and see if we can't um make that work. It's a done deal. Thank you. Well, hmm. 
Okay. We'll be back with a book and a okay. lance. And hopefully so, all of our fingers and toes. And hopefully all of you. And you got, where'd you guys say you wanted to go to now? I guess the library. Yeah, is it a library? Yeah. Okay. It is the library so, here. There correct? is something. I mean, it wasn't the library. Because the library is near the Enchanter's Guild, right? Uh, yes. The... Nice. Uh, uh, so I did want to do something before we got to the library. So uh, I assume we leave the house and we get on the street. And so I thought uh, going to the session that we were like, we were going to get back to the city and then there's going to be a shopping spree. I didn't realize that it was going to be <laughs> off screen. So um, you, we get outside and um, I know this isn't how the spell works normally, but uh, Casper kind of does a, a magic spell. He kind of takes his fist and, and brings it towards him. And uh, there's a there's a shimmer. Falcon oh. punch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there There's a shimmer in the air, like in shortly outside the house and in, in the street there's a shimmer of sparkles and, and stars uh and as the they go through the air towards the ground uh, a horse begins to materialize um and uh once it's done it is uh very clearly like a, a painted horse it's mostly brown with white spots on it um uh, and the more perceptive of you can see that it kind of it regards the group with uh, a fairly intelligent eye uh, and Casper, like it's nothing. Like, <laughs> he's been doing that this whole time. He goes and he gets onto the horse. He, like, hoists himself up. Um, Maeve would like to nudge Nyx and be like, I'm not crazy, right? I'm not the only one seeing whatever shit show is going on right here. Uh, it's not a shit show yet. Let's see what happens. What is happening? <laughs> Byron flags down one of the, uh, what was it? Not lift, but... <laughs> Flight. Oh, flight. Fli flight. Yeah. Flight. He flags yes. down a flight car. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot that was so great. Traveling in style. Mm -hmm. The uh he he does say though, I uh so something to think about, and he says, like looking over the side of the horse down to you guys. Uh so there's the lance. I'm pretty sure the lance is connected to the prophecy. And then there's this book about dragons coming out of nowhere. Isn't that a part of the prophecy too? Dragons keep showing up. I don't. Not keep showing I don't know, man. This is all you. That's not. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're the one that's the the prophesized into. I'm literally just a thief. I I'm around with you guys. Like I don't. The Necronomicon opens. <laughs> and... And next, flip, 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 flip. The unearthing of a dragon. <laughs> yes, so there is at least one dragon, possibly not multiple dragons, but at least one dragon. But it keeps happening, though. The well, prophecy it happens every couple thousand itself. years, sure. Yeah. I mean. So what? You think that you're supposed to take the spear and kill the dragon and break the cycle? Oh, chosen one? Have we well, not killed is. enough dragons this time around? <sighs> Uh, also, I, listen, I know this conversation is super important, but Casper, I noticed your friends bought you this lovely shirt and you have not yet put it on. That's a little rude, don't you think? Uh, do you want to wait while I take off all my armor and then yeah. put it on? And put I mean, on all my armor? it's got, it's, it's like got, we, 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 uh, we commissioned it to be a little big. I think it'll fit just right over the top of all of your. Yeah, then everyone can <laughs> see. It'll be beautiful. It's going to get ruined. Uh, it's gonna first combat we have. Oh, I think your friends are smart enough to have paid for there to be some sort of spell in there so it doesn't get damaged. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Nyx actually knows how to mend things really well. <laughs> I would too. Don't worry about busting you know what? the seam. You guys have been really arms. mean to me. You guys have been really mean to me today. So no, I won't. <laughs> keeping secrets from us sorry we just agreed to let you keep your lance and are going on another mission so that you can keep this thing how is that mean to you uh boys and their toys okay let's mm -hmm. uh get, will your horse keep up with our flight i don't uh it'll take a little bit longer but you guys can get there ahead of time and um well, Casper can... I mean, I'll just so the deal, the the problem is, is that we don't want to just leave Casper on his own with this 
world altering prophecy that he supposedly had and you know we we want to make sure that this you know a really expensive item that he's carrying also doesn't disappear <laughs> how are there's, we not the all truth. on the same page with the prophecy that the campaign is centered around byron's now. never seen this prophecy he was with some shirtless guy digging a hole while you guys were having all of that thing <laughs> Okay. Is that so, mine? Oh, I gotta dig back through the recesses <laughs> of my memory. And in any case, I mean, Byron I never saw a prophecy. <laughs> I'll go with Casper and make sure that the lamp saves face, and we will meet you at the library. All right, okay. Maeve. I so we're, we're splitting the, the party. Yeah. We're splitting the party. Technically, yeah, but I mean, we're going to the same place, so it depends on what shenanigans you're gonna throw at us. Okay. <laughs> So the uh, you guys walk over and uh, the brooms uh, are sitting there. They they uh, you pay your one gold each and uh, you fly to the library. Well, how fast oh, yeah. are the brooms? Flying fast. broom speed. Yeah, we would go up and we feet. we would. Uh, yeah, but we can fly as the as the crow yeah, flies. Can... You can fly over people too. You have to fly through the crowds of a busy city. Uh, while you um, while you ride your horse, I will. Sh I'll well, kind of like keep like close to them, but at the same time, Byron is going to give a slight tour to Maeve and kind of introduce her to the city. Okay, and also, and you, you, what's it? He's just gonna look over and be like, "Hey, want a race?" <laughs> All right. So uh, here's here's some. We can definitely do that. You do know that if you were trying to float over top of them, you are being charged like by the minute, like a cab. But we can totally, uh, we can totally have you guys race. That's a hundred percent a thing you can do. Uh, you guys get up into the air, uh, and um, Nix and uh, Casper, you here want to race, and we fade back over to you guys. Um, and actually, no, we don't because Rob just ran away. So, uh, the two of you, are you actually going to race? Me and her? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yes, so, Casey! You guys can't go too, too high up, uh, but let's get some initiative. And I need some... Where are you guys at? Hold on. I gotta... I'm gonna bring you to this board. Um, summon to board. What is it's not looking good so, so far. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What it is. Just so I can get some. Just so I can get some music going. Oh, there we go. All right. So the two of you, give me some initiative. Uh, eleven. Nine. Eleven and nine. Great start for the both of us. <laughs> Eleven is uh, Byron, and nine is Maeve. All right, so uh, all I'm gonna say Maeve. is, is thank God this isn't based on uh, actual movement speed because there's no way I can keep up with a monk. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a. Uh, you guys have pretty equal stuff, um, but uh, Maeve's like, let's race. Byron doesn't even flinch he just kicks it into gear and he's just fucking off uh so the two of you are flying down these alleys uh and byron is starting to take a, a lead a little bit um but out of nowhere he's flying close to a, a building i need a dexterity save as the shutters fly open in front of you 12 12 uh you dip down underneath and you start to pull away from mave Maeve, you are uh, you're you're flying uh, a little bit lower to the ground, uh, and you're noticing that it's starting to slow you down because you're not able to be up as high and, and uh, catch some drag behind him. Uh, and I need a dexterity saving throw from you as kids that you're flying by start throwing rocks at you. <laughs> one, it was another natural. One. It was a natural one. You get clocked <laughs> right in the head and fall off of your, uh, off of your. No! Give me, give me, uh, give me a, a, 
a, a dexterity saving throw to see if you actually fall off your broom. You just murder. Wait, 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 wait. Twenty-eight with wait. a natural twenty. So uh, we got some inspiration given to you in chat. I oh for the other one for my original dex saving throw. Yep, and then so yes. this this that that what you ever you just rolled that will carry over as the rocks. Um, that would be a natural twenty twenty-eight, please. Yeah. So uh, the the rocks are flying at you, and it it you know it's almost like you felt like you got hit in the head, but you didn't. It just missed like by the barest of inches, and you fly ahead, um, going neck and neck. You look over and see Byron. You guys just eyeball each other down, and as that happens, uh, Byron, I need a strength saving throw. As the broom malfunctions a little bit and it starts to turn over, you got to stay on the broom. A nine. A nine. Okay, I need a dexterity saving throw as you start to slip off of the broom. 19. Okay, you are now holding on upside down, uh, flying through the, uh, through the city. Uh, and you're starting to uh, lag behind as Maeve nimbly dodged a rock and uh and flew past you uh Maeve you see ahead that there is a there, there's two brooms that they're flying a big piece of glass in between two streets and you have to quickly duck underneath I need a uh an acrobatics for you to uh either zip no what <laughs> It's either zip underneath or jump over the glass. She's oh, no, no, I got it. This. I'm going to give the <laughs> monk an acrobatics roll and the bard a strength saving throw. <laughs> yep. You have All to I'm do saying is one completely four. slanted. Go ahead. <laughs> 18. 18. Okay. So uh, the, the broom dips down and you actually jump over top of this glass being able to get you ahead. Uh, you can see ahead of you the um, the library as um, you turn around. You see Byron still hanging up uh, underneath the uh, the broom, starting to catch up. And it looks like that him being underneath is starting to pull the the uh, the broom downward, and it's giving him a little bit of an advantage as he's getting ready to come and land at the uh, at the library. Uh, but he needs one more acrobatics to make sure that he doesn't hit his feet on the bottom of a sign of a building that he's going by. Give me a uh, acrobatics. 23. Oh, he uh, so it the sign is coming up. It, it says the uh, the blue yak um, and you see the blue yak sign getting real close as you lift your legs real quick and get over top of it. Um, this is the last one, Maeve. If you make this one, you're going to win. If not, Byron will lord this over you for the rest of your life. <laughs> you are you are now in a nosedive trying to beat him to the library. You can see the open arms of the book uh, that is that is on the sign there to showcase that it's a library before you. Uh, and you need to do a... Let's do let's do a a strength check to be able to hold on to this uh onto this broom as it starts shaking with the speed that you are putting it. What we got? Eleven. I'll give you my inspiration. <gasps> Eleven. <laughs> <Do our> yes. <laughs> wow. Everybody hates Byron in this race. Do you want me? I don't mind using my own, Rob. Do you want me to use my own? <laughs> no, 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 no. I need this. <laughs> 18. <laughs> What'd you get? 18. So you you are holding on to this broom, and at the last possible second, you pull up on the broom, stopping it. It's it's very fast and the furious. Like the, the ass end of the broom swings around and you park right next to the door, just barely beating Byron to the library. <laughs> Man, why don't we race more in our campaign? Huh? Beca because we can't expend three inspirations for you to win every time. <laughs> I'm going to be involved in more races so that I can have a better chance of killing you all. 
Good so, lord. Uh, the two of you, uh, the two of you are giving each other a gentle ribbing uh, as we cut back to uh, uh, Nick's walking next to a horse. That what? What's your horse's name? Peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, what's basket. his name? What's the name from Parks and Rec? Well, oh, well, so that's not even allowed on the horse. I'm just uh, next to the horse. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's, uh, uh, okay, well, I'll do it. It's just so, trudging so, along. In all like, fairness, my, mine was from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It was Sergeant Peanut Butter. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what happens is we're in front of uh, Io's house, and the... Maeve and Byron just see these broomsticks and they're like, Dibs! And they get off and just <laughs> zoom off immediately. Um, and so uh, I'm sure Nix and Casper just watch them go for a second. And then they're like, okay, well. Uh, uh, Shall we oh, go? It looks like we're walking. Would you like a, uh, a ride on Ven? Mm, she kind of looks at, <laughs> uh, looks at up and down. Just goes, Ugh. We'll need it if we're going to catch up with them. Okay. Gasper will gets... uh, reach down his his arm to help her on the horse. She takes his hand with a visible wince, hops up behind him, wraps her arms around, and just from behind behind Casper's back, you can hear her just going, "I hate this! I hate this! I hate this!" <laughs> <laughs> she goes, "Go! Let's just yeah. go! <laughs> just go already!" Casper flicks the reins a little bit. Um, he looks pretty knightly now that he's on a horse. I mean, the horse is pretty tall. Um, he's in full with armor. with the lance. The, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's just <laughs> kicking children out of the way. <laughs> just trampling the right terror. over the top of them, really. Well, they need to get out of the way. It's a horse. <laughs> no, they did it back then. Um, the saddle is very comfy, by the way. Uh, when you get closer, you can see there are like ruins etched into it. Um, it looks like it's probably magical. Um, and uh, he, he kind of turns and says, not looking over his shoulder fully, and says, you know, uh, I've had to use lay on hands quite a few times. This isn't This isn't new. Those were more necessary. This isn't, it's only necessary to protect the lance, but I don't have to enjoy it. Well, I, it helps though. Casper, for what it's worth, I do believe that you should keep the lance. And I don't exactly know how we're going to work that out with Io, but the truth is, I don't trust her, and I don't know why Byron does. I don't either. And. I mean, I appreciate that. It's not, I mean, anybody could use the lance. I trust all of you equally. Yeah, you could use the lance if you want. I just, I think that it's part of a bigger picture. And oh. we worked so hard to get it. I just would hate to see it gone. I almost died. You did? <laughs> a few times, I think. <laughs> uh, at least twice. Oh. Um, yeah. I, oh. I'm, I really think that book might have something to do with it too. Hmm. I think the coincidence uh, you're, you might be smarter than me. <laughs> I actually don't know, but I think you're smarter than me based on how uh, you act. Uh, you should give the book a read once we well, get there and see. Thank you. I, I don't know that I'm smarter, but if I had to put a number to it, I'd maybe say something in the realm of like 14 out of 20. I don't know. Mm, okay. <laughs> Just well, you're always reading books. There. So yeah. Well, I'll be honest, I don't know that I'm going to hand over the book to her once we get back. And as much as I appreciate being able to get quests from her, I think that Byron maybe isn't thinking fully clearly when he's around her. I... <sighs> I don't know. The way that he talks to her is just bizarre. So whatever you decide well. to do with the Lance and the book, just know that I'm going to support you, but maybe... Byron shouldn't have the final say in those conversations. Well, I think he'll try anyway. But, I don't know. When you compare it to how he talks to us, it might be weird. But I think that, A, he wants something from her. So he's going to try and butter her up. That's kind of his MO. And B, I think she's important to him. Which is weird. Because I don't think that's normal for Byron, but I think they have a history. And it might be good 
compared to other histories that he has. The I don't want to ruin that one. talks to us doesn't necessarily include you, if that makes sense. I know exactly no. what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Are we there? <laughs> Do we, uh, DM, do we pass any, um, street food carts on the way? It's funny that you ask that, because you do. And I, this, uh, this was, you see, there is a dragonborn, and he is, uh, he's a little bit older, he's, like, this, this, like, really, really, really nice lemony color and he's got it's it's because his age is almost like starting to rust a little bit but he's putting up a sign that says Prenault's best lemon bars oh my god is there a cart is it just him and the sign on the road or is there a, a cart it is it is. Are there it is him. lemon bars in sight, or is it just a man holding a sign saying lemon bars? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he's bars uh, four blocks that away. He is. Uh, he is. He is uh, setting up for the day, um, and uh, he's got some lemon bars that he's putting out uh, to to eat or to buy. I guess you should say. My treat. Oh, Maybe it'll change it you... from uh, hating this to mildly disliking this. If you have a lemon bar in your hands. Hmm. I don't eat, but by all means, <laughs> can you if smell? it will make you feel better can, after being on canonically, the canonically, Nyx at one point said that she makes the world's best lemon bars. I do vaguely remember this. Oh my god. What? I feel like it was back when Byron was making himself smell like vanilla and we talked about baking things. I am. <laughs> right? That was like episode I three. <laughs> I am well known in my church for making the best lemon bars they've ever had really? so i suppose i can make an exception for this particular gentleman and and i misspoke it was the meanest lemon bars in pernault that tracks oh. <laughs> <laughs> you take a look at one and they go you <laughs> they're, they're, don't eat me. It's just filled with glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> but uh, her church was just like, she's trying so bad to fit in. She doesn't know how food tastes. <laughs> just <laughs> All right. Uh, I do. I pull up. I go through the drive through on my horse. Um, <laughs> I pull up and look down at the, uh, the dragonborn. Say, how much for uh, four lemon bars? Uh, uh, four? You're a big strapping lad. Don't you think that maybe you're going to need a little more? They're very small. Oh, at least you didn't shave him. I thought you were going to be like, I think that's too much for you. <laughs> <laughs> you already look pretty big. Yeah. Why don't uh, you cut back? <laughs> how do you make this sound like a trap, Justin? How do you make this <laughs> encounter sound like Trap. No, it's not a trap. It's not a trap. He's trying to make more money. He's trying to. He's trying to swindle you. That's so creepy. I, I uh, have. No. I have, okay. So, in all fairness, that's just Justin. Justin's creepy. <laughs> Pretty much. That's fair. Uh, How many lemon bars can five gold get us? He, uh, this this dragonborn looks at you and he's. I mean. If you're not really hungry, I guess five gold would get you a couple what? lemon bars. But if you're, I, I thought maybe you guys were. Good lord, this really was hungry. I mean, like... <laughs> who is your target audience? I'm <laughs> for a lemon bar. Here. Holy cow! I'm the hungriest, and I'll have you know that I can eat many a lemon bar. So while I oh, appreciate then that you maybe you don't... might like this one and the the the. the the dragonborn pulls out a briefcase and opens it up, and there's like glowing coming out of it, like from uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, it says, "Maybe I could interest you in this lemon bar." I mean, look, look, these lemon bars over here—they're—they're they're five silver a piece. That's—that's that's fool's errand. This is what you want, and um, I'm gonna roll for persuasion. What? <laughs> 
you have been entranced it's... by the swindler. <laughs> I, I rolled a 14. So uh... this, this is equivalent to being on a beach in oh. Mexico where they're walking around with all this stuff and they're trying to convince you that it's the greatest treasure on earth. Yeah, but here's the problem. Justin tapped into Nix's <laughs> singular food item. Like, uh-huh. she's allergic to pineapple and she loves lemon pie. <laughs> So there's no persuasion rule needed. She's <laughs> there's there's no contesting it. She's like, ah, that is the best looking lemon bar that I've almost ever seen. How yes, much- uh, it is. This is this is a mere eight gold. Hmm. And uh, when you look into it, this it's lemon bar. It is it's three inches wide, three inches. It's a perfect square. It actually has like gold filigree put into it like you know they've glowed flake and it, mm-hmm. it it is it is um it, it has a scene like etched into it uh it looks like a battle upon a field um and there's only one of them in there how much for the and... briefcase no one's ever asked me for the briefcase before <laughs> i want the briefcase uh... with the lemon bar <laughs> nine gold i'll say That's nine important to me Casper <laughs> is like sitting there. He, you can see, he's trying to process what's happening right now. This encounter is not going how he thought it would go. <laughs> he's having a very hard time catching up with what's going on. Casper, we need the lemon bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for nine gold, I'm buying the briefcase with the lemon bar. <laughs> it was it's the briefcase. Yes, yes, you get the, the okay, briefcase perfect. and the lemon bar. Excellent. Yeah, I will toss him over. I'm gonna toss him ten gold. Just a, now, just a little to be clear, so is, this, is this is this brie- oh. is like the lemon gar- bar sliding around in the briefcase, or is this briefcase built specifically oh, for this lemon it bar? It is built specifically for this lemon wow. bar. It's like the foam insert with the one lemon bar like nestled inside. <laughs> when you open it, it makes it sounds like a choir of angels. Give give me uh, an arcana check, Nix. Hey, or Casper. Ooh, that's a seven. Oh. Uh, uh, Casper. I'll, I'll, I'll Casper. Uh, a five. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're not sure but for some reason um this dragonborn is moving the case back and forth and it's not moving it's not like there's grooves it's just it's almost like it's magically in place there or it's made of cardboard and you guys are getting swindled <laughs> well it's the story it's not it's not the product <laughs> um okay so um I just wanted some lemon bars. Uh, <laughs> can I still have four lemon bars, please? Uh, the the dragon boy says, uh, "Yes, yes." Uh, after after the adults are done, here you go. And she and he takes your takes your uh, your gold and hands you over the case and says, "Now, how many did you want? Four. four. That will be twenty silver, please." I hear about to say twenty gold. That's about to freak the fuck out. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next, you see Casper open his pouch of gold and, like, pour out all the contents. Three <laughs> coins fall into the palm of his hand, and he counts out one, two, <laughs> and that is two-thirds of the rest of his money. Um, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, he hands over you, two gold. You only, you only had, you only have three, like, it was only Can 20 silver. Gold? Yeah, that's two gold. Okay. All right. You only have three gold left. That's that's fine. Yeah. I mean, why didn't you sell your dead friend's personal belongings? (laughs) That's no way of getting a bunch Uh, of gold. She goes, no, 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 Casper, please. I, after what I, after my confession earlier, the very least, I can buy you some lemon bars and I'll give him another two gold and pat Casper's hand willingly. Uh, the, uh, the dragonborn says, it's, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Um, and as you guys start, you know, as you walk away, you, you see the dragonborn is now taking the stand down. Um, I mean, the fact that you, you, you paid that much, that was more than he would make in a normal day. All right. I wanted to hear you say that he pulls out another briefcase. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to, uh, as we're on the horse, I'm going to take the lemon bar 
out of the briefcase mm -hmm. and stow the briefcase away for safekeeping. Okay. Uh, and then just kind of reach around and like put it up to Casper's face and just eat this. Try this. Do it. Try it. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Smearing it over his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> just take a big bite of it. Tell me I, what it tastes like. Describe I, it. A big bite is a big bite. I eat it. Describe the flavors as they happen. <laughs> uh, so uh, you you take a bite, and uh, it's just okay. Like it's not. Oh no! It's not the, Way too it, much it's not gold the leaf. Best thing. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, like you can tell that they used fake lemon, and like the uh, the the bite is real doughy. It's not. It hasn't been cooked the whole way through. Like the the, uh, oh, the graham crackery. Man like the bottom part of it um it, it it's just okay this is casper's first lemon bar by the way <laughs> so he doesn't have you're, much you're of very, a basis to climb it on. you're very underwhelmed <laughs> <laughs> oh no can we all right so now that all of this has happened i did want to interrupt the earlier can we take a moment to say that like she's allergic to pineapple nix is so her heart doesn't beat and she can't eat, but she still has allergic reactions. Like what a life! <laughs> she's just out. Thank you. I say she's just what out in the middle. Thank she, you. She's like her eyes are puffy and she's like, I got seasonal allergies. <laughs> she literally, her heart's not even beating. <laughs> she's a complicated lady. Yeah. Aren't we cut. All? We cut back to um, Nick's using one of her uh, flashbacks. And uh, it's not that she's allergic to pineapple. She was killed by pineapples one time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. She's died multiple times. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want that canon. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag canon. Be, yep. I don't want that to be a decision for my character. Okay. <laughs> what, what um, no, that's your murderer. Uh, Casper, the pineapple killer. killer. <laughs> <laughs> He's running rampant. Um. Casper is going to say, that was really good. That tastes really good. I'd Can I get a deception roll? Like another bite, please. While while she's behind you on a horse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Six. A natural one. <laughs> it gives um, Casper my inspiration. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my this gosh. Is so we are wasting so much inspiration. And we are going to die. <laughs> okay. A 13. Uh, All right. Yes. All right. I'll contest that. Ooh, a 14 on my Oh, inside. my God. You, yeah. you definitely know. <laughs> it's trash, isn't it? Do you feel poisoned? No, I... Uh, Do you feel cursed? No, it was... Are you sweating? Are you yes, blushing? Yes, but that's normal. I can't um, see your face. No, not right now. Mm -hmm. Um... He does. He keeps answering everyone he <laughs> as best as he can. Um, uh, I think that whatever kind of lemon cakes you could make, lemon bars, uh, they'd be better than this. Hmm. I'm going to take the lemon bar, which has got a big old, it's partially smushed and got a big bite taken out of it, and she'll take the tiniest nibble out of the lemon bar. Okay. Oh Explosion um. of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel poisoned? No, you What's don't happening? feel cursed. You don't feel flavor. You don't feel you, you don't feel flavor. Apparently. Oh, I do feel um, flavor. <laughs> no, it it uh it, it's just okay. Um, you you, you, you look up sure. and you've just passed a street sign. You are now in Flavor Town. <laughs> <laughs> nope, but you My do look up. You do look up and you see that uh, Byron and Maeve are arguing over who got to the library first. Oh no, Byron would even if Byron Byron had won. He would have pulled back at the last moment to let me. He wants everyone oh to God. like him, and will do all of that, right? Yep. Yeah, I presume that's why. What is Maeve's yeah, reaction to winning? How does Maeve? <laughs> win? She doesn't care about winning. She just cares about the fact that she enjoyed doing it. You know what I mean? Like it's not like even if even if Byron won, she's like, "Wow, that was fucking fun. We should definitely do that again sometime." Makes a good gal. Um, she's she's fun. all about the experience. Did I see a kid dome you in the head while we were walking through the city? <laughs> Ugh, almost. It was so fucking close. 
As we get up to wow. the library, does the horse just disappear? No, the horse oh, is there. It's, it's a horse. Off the ground. It's a horse. He ties it up. No, he just tells him to stay there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whoa, shadow facts. <laughs> well, as soon as we get remotely close, Nyx excitedly hops down and uh, would approach the rest. She would also very angrily throw the remains of the lemon bar on the ground and stomp it into the dirt. Okay. Go, uh, immediately this. after she does that, Casper goes up to Maeve and <laughs> Byron with the lemon <laughs> bar. It's like, I, I got you. I got you guys one. They're not great, but... Oh, um, awesome. So, uh, do you guys eat them? Uh, Byron would try to, like, slyly cast digitation on the lemon bar that Maeve is eating to make it enhanced flavor. Okay. Um, do Maeve you eat, eat yours? It. Yeah, I would eat mine plain. Oh, it's fucking delicious. Hands down, the best lemon <laughs> bar you've ever eaten in your fucking My life. My God, then what is hers like? Scammed. <laughs> yeah, I he got did. scammed you, you got, in the most genuine scammed. way. <laughs> yep, you got I scammed. Just, I can't. So that's why it sounded like a scam. I think because that's what it was. <laughs> 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 Dude, I DM inspiration. That's inspiration that <laughs> you. you just. <laughs> um. So, but Maeve, uh, it, it's it is, it it is heavenly. Like I don't know if you're a religious person, but <laughs> this is the closest thing that you've ever experienced to uh, like being in the presence of God. You can see her like eyes roll back in her head. Like, <laughs> this is the fucking best thing i've ever eaten in my life do not tell my mother i said that <laughs> did, wow nix did you make these these are phenomenal Amazing. i did not and they are not that good oh, i will no here i know that you I don't this... i know that you don't eat but and he'll break off a corner and say would you like to put this on your tongue so you can actually that is have... so good i am not willing to share you gotta try it it's amazing uh, two more i refuse yeah. oh okay next time we have a break i'm going to get the skeleton crew involved and we're going to make you a real lemon bar <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll both be like oh well that other one was like... i bet that i bet you have a whole new meaning to bone meal but it, <laughs> it's the bone zone that's what i'm renaming <laughs> the spell <laughs> nix's script not any longer it's not <laughs> i summon the bone zone uh so the the, the, the library <laughs> yeah we're here <laughs> uh <laughs> you guys go up to the library door this is a pretty large building uh and there is um it's a big locked door or a big door that has a a lock on the front of it um it's made out of metal it looks like whoever owns this it, well donvers hold owns it but they, they don't want anybody getting it this is a pretty um pretty secure place uh the building is very very ornate there is a uh, there's a fountain to your right um and uh it's three stories tall you go up oh, sorry what do you want Byron? whenever you said that there's a giant lock on the door do you mean like this is not a public library this is a private uh no i i apologize i misspoke when i said it um spoiler alert the door is locked um but it, it is a big fortified door okay uh, question you said the fountain to the right how mm -hmm. big of a fountain are we talking is it like uh, a like splishy splash or is it like a whole like show stop in it's not show stop let's say in between that like it's um okay. it, it's it's big enough that maybe it's in front of like a town hall but um but not not like the bellagio where it's like going to music and shit oh, like big enough to like drown a man in yes cool big enough for someone to have lots of fun running streaking through it yes <laughs> Um, asking the real question yeah all right so would byron potentially have a membership to this place potentially yes because he uh, is give... like that that is he is a study yeah. a follower of ion and yeah 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 actually um you a hundred percent would yep so so we try the door 
Uh, you, it, it, it is it is locked, and you hear is it like a, a weird. Oh, sorry. Is no. it like a weird time of day? Is it like a yeah? Of course, it'd be locked. Or do um, we know the appropriate way to enter? No, no. the 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 door is is um, locked. You would think it's it's, you know, the the library would be open. Uh, it's about a ten eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, you you go to to open the door and it's locked, and you hear in a gruff voice, uh, "Who who is it? Who is it?" Um. Well, my name is Byron Bancroft. Member number. Uh, oh, you you've got a you've got a member number. Just and you see a little thing that slides open. Uh, put put your card here. I don't. <laughs> you you uh you a, a little hand reaches up and grabs it, and uh, you hear. Hmm. Uh, so it seems in order. It's okay. And then the uh, card goes back up. Oh oh okay. And you hear like five or six locks unlocking and the door opens up very, very slowly. Um, Not as if somebody's trying to keep you out, almost like they're having a hard time opening the door up. But finally the door does open up and you are left into a room. Hold on, let me open this door for you. Boop. You are... You enter into a room, and it's your normal library stuff. As soon as you walk in the door, there is a desk where you would expect to see a librarian. Uh, And then before you are rows and rows of books. There is, next to the door, a... uh, It it appears to be a woman. Uh, She is wearing a black mask. Um, she's a little overweight. Uh, she's got compression socks on and like a red and black plaid dress. Uh, she smells of cinnamon cloves. Um, and a- as she walks in, she-, she takes off her mask and you see this is an older woman with glasses and curly hair. And she goes, please, please close the door behind you. Uh, it's getting very rough around here lately. Uh, I was I was always afraid that I'm going to get robbed, especially when I'm the only person here. No worries at all, gorgeous. We'll take care of it. Just uh I have uh three guests with me that will be attending. We are being uh we're looking for a particular item. Oh, okay. Um and as Casper walks in, she's like, Oh, you're you're quite the large lad, aren't you? I was, uh, Second time she, someone said that to me today. She fans herself a little bit, and you want uh, a she's. Bar? <laughs> oh, you have a lemon bar. I do. I, I, you, did you get this for me? For for you? For... Uh, uh, no, I didn't get it from you. Uh, yes. Yes. I, I'm told you're quite the fan of lemon bars, so I oh, thought I'd be rude I... if I didn't. I I didn't even know that you knew old Florence. I, and she she mm-hmm. takes a bite of it and she just goes, "Oh God, that's good." <laughs> Oh, I haven't had something that good in my mouth since my husband was alive. Oh. That's unnecessary. Thank you for allowing us in. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to just try to skirt on past her while she's distracted by sexy Casper and his sexy lemon bars. Okay. And uh, she's actively, actively flirting with Casper. Oh, okay. is that what that was? Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that what that was? Oh my god. Okay. She's been out of rotation a little bit. You gotta forgive her. Uh oh, yeah, uh, then before we go let's uh be- let's let's proceed on and look. Before we go any farther, um I didn't give credit to where credit was due. Uh this map I got off of Tales Bazaar. Uh the author is Brother Hannon, uh Lord of Kinetic. Kinetics. And the Brother Hannon. That- yeah, Brother Hannon, Brother- Lord of Kinetics. Yeah. Um, and this is Mod City Library combines well with Office. Um, it's a super awesome uh, map. There's a whole bunch of stuff attached to it. So it's the section that you're seeing right now that's broken down by level. And there's also a building that is by itself. Um, it's a pretty cool map. By- so- Byron, uh, upon like walking into the library with Nix and Maeve, will lean over to Casper while she's 
moaning on the other side of the desk and just be like, <laughs> uh, keep her busy and take one for the team. Oh, and <laughs> Byron will okay. excuse himself <laughs> with Nix and Maeve to look for the book. All right. Hold on one second. I apologize. I just realized that Nix isn't on the map. Boop. There you go. I'm Can you see yourself now? No. No. Okay, right behind me. Yeah, you're. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I don't see her. I can out. see oh, how. I can see on stream how y'all can see me. But... Hmm. Too much of a ghost. Well. Uh, That's okay. That's okay. Let's let me. I'm gonna give you. Just somebody, control. somebody moved me in a way that. It makes I get you. Cool. Cool. Um, can you remind Specific me what the title yellow? of the book is that we're looking for again? Uh, yeah, and uh, Nix, I gave you. Uh, control of the librarian just so you can see the name of the book hold on let me scroll up here real quick it is called a reoccurring a reoccurring fury hyphen a history of randomly appearing dragons by hg wensra mm -hmm. um is that mave is gonna walk up to the Yes. Uh, ma'am, uh, do you know, could you be, could, would you be able to show us where your nonfiction section on dragons is? Uh, she's, uh, ex excuse or, or me, point dear. Us in the right I'll, direction. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll help her. I'll help in one second. Just, you stay here, right honey. Here. Yes, here. thank you. I mean, wouldn't Byron have an idea? Couldn't I just kind of, like, lead us in a direction? Yeah, sure, Nix is you 100% nerd. could. I feel like she would know how to navigate a library. But okay. Maeve walked over and wants to, to mm -hmm. draw her attention away. Um, so uh, the librarian's like, oh, okay, um, what were you looking for again? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, Recurring Fury, A History of Randomly Appearing Dragons by Wensra. Oh, okay. Um, and she starts walking over, and as she's walking over, uh, Byron and Nix are already over in that section of the library. They were able to figure it out pretty quickly. Um, the non-fiction and... section with Dewey decimal numbers, really? <laughs> really? They can figure it out on their own without asking? Okay. Uh, we, we, the, we, we get it, Miss Librarian. All right. The, uh, the librarian we can also is. Cast spells. Okay. So I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's alphabetized by author. It's not that hard. <laughs> the librarian's yeah. talking to, to, to Maeve, and she's like, Honey, do you not understand how libraries work? It's very simple. Huh? This is where the section Justin? is here. And she... <laughs> do not. <laughs> no. I'm the um, lecture. I'm ready to lecture whenever you nope. are. Oh, nope, God. I am not. I do not want to get in a battle of library with you. Legendary um, action. Yeah, but so as you're as you're walking over, um, the librarian says to you, she goes, Did did you know that this is actually uh it's written by uh Hoosley Gringlebum Wensra? I'll put that in the chat later. Um, she was a uh, she was actually a, a female halfling scholar uh, from a couple thousand years ago. It's uh, it's actually we're very fortunate to have this piece in our collection. Uh, and she walks you back. This is actually in the um, the historical section, um, and she takes you over. And like I said, Byron and Casper are there already. But it is it is an area that's in glass because this book is so old. And she goes, uh, honey, this is where this is going to be here. And uh, she is looking through and she goes, hmm, it's not here. Hmm? What do you mean? It's not there? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, are you a ghost? I don't see how that's relevant. Is the book well, I was trying to figure out what you didn't understand about it not being here. Uh, look, look. I'm used would, to things being uh, visible could it be, and incorporeal. Could it be in a, in a stack that hasn't been put on the shelf yet? Maybe? Hmm. Uh, or left on a table can, if someone was looking at it? We can look... Uh, I really wanted to someone get back and talk out. to that handsome man. Um, you can... Oh, you're here! You, you can go. Uh, just, you're, you're, not that, you're not that far away. I can, I can, I can hear uh, 
Nix is uh, whispering. Um, <laughs> I think my friend she, Casper here would agree she, that he would love to stay and chat while browsing this book if we could just find it. She is. Um, she's actually. She's keeps looking back at Casper, um, but she's. You can see genuine concern on her face that this book is not here. Uh, she. Uh, she. She looks around. Um, she starts picking up books left and right. Uh, she's she's like tapping her head. She's like, think, think, where, where, where would this? And she just stops in the middle of uh, of what she's doing. She's like, oop, I didn't go far enough down my notes. Um, Has anyone else been in here recently? It was uh, I probably twelve to fifteen days ago. Uh, we had some restoration work done. On, a, on another volume in this section. Um, yeah, it was, um, who were they? They were wearing uh, like blue work clothes. I can't think of what they were called. I, I wonder if they did it. Maybe, maybe they took the book. So, I mean, do you have any idea finding someone in blue work clothes in an entire city seems a bit... Yeah, out- give me... Yeah, give me give me one second. She runs over her to her desk, um, and it's the first time you really take it. I mean, it is extremely organized. Like everything is not only like stacked, but it is all at like straight angles. It's either like ninety degrees this way or turned, you know, another ninety degrees that way. Nothing is out of place. She walks over. She goes. Mm-hmm starts going making like little noises like just like doot 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 and she's able to Byron leans into Nix and says here I thought I was going to have to forge another book to look like this one so we could steal it now we're just gonna have to go steal it from whoever already stole it problem solved um she she goes she goes Eureka I found it and uh she brings over a, a little slip of paper it looks like a work order and she's like uh it was it was called uh, "Bound to Be New," B O U N D, to be new. Um, to uh, be. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And you think that these contractors came in, did the job that you hired them to do, and then made off with just this one very particular book? I don't see how else it could be. Uh, we don't get too many people looking for this section of books. Um, uh, they were here, and she she points to another book, and um, there's a book there, and it is it is about um, the the Great Gnomic War. Um, that was what they were there to fix, uh, and you can see that the binding on this book looks like it has been touched up. I okay, I mean I'll I'll inspect their touch up work just to see if there's anything to be gleaned from that. Mm-hmm. Or okay. if it looks like it was like a fake touch up job or something. Sure. Yeah. Just a bunch of yeah, with a, gum rubbed on I the mean, side of it. I rolled a twenty three. I don't I mean I don't know if I could learn anything about the people that were here, if there's like fingerprints sizes or so you're you're looking at this and um the the binding has been worked on but you can see that the person who did this didn't do a good job almost like they they weren't skilled book binders like maybe somebody said hey this is how you bind a book um and and that's what happened well, if you're going to come in and steal something, I mean, I guess there is a little something admirable about them doing the job they were hired for. As You know, as, I, I think that a lot of thieves would go in and not make the effort of faking the job. Maybe this was a theft of opportunity. Maybe they saw the book and thought, hey, this one looks like it's worth money and they're just trying to take it to steal it. I mean, oh, maybe Byron. to sell it for gold. I don't know. I'm just look at this. She holds up the book by like one page, so the whole thing is just kind of like fallen open. 
This oh, the, is shit. These the, people didn't know what they were doing. The pages mm. fall out, and you just hear, Oh my god! As, yeah. <laughs> um, as Florence <laughs> runs across, and she's she gets out um, in her pocket. She has those white gloves that you wear with old books, and she's like slapping your hand, like gets you to put the book down, and she's trying to push <laughs> everything back together. And and she's just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nix, do you? She by... drops it as soon as as soon as her hand gets touched. <laughs> she just like recoils and drops the book. Do you, goes, do you by oh, chance oh. have uh, the ability to mend? I uh, oh I I mean, it, sure, and I could probably frankly do a better job of it than <laughs> than the fake people that you brought in here. Uh, and let's do a little let's do a little mending. <laughs> Can I just say the notes that Lisa just typed up say the binding has been worked on, but it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I stand by that. <laughs> I don't disagree. It's just hilarious. There we go. Oh, what do we got here? Single tear in an object. Oh, you know, I mean, maybe it's not going to fix it up perfectly, but yes, with a little, a uh, little TLC and a little mending cantrips, I think we can probably piece it back together. Okay. So you you uh you walk over and just stand I guess stand there looking at the the uh the librarian Florence um and sh she's like th thank you. Thank you for this. It it'll hold off until I can get someone in here to to really do the job that needs to be done. You know, these books these books deserve to be taken care of. I certainly understand that. And I apologize that you were taken a bit advantage of by these people who originally came in. Can you tell I... us anything else about who it was that was here? Um, it seemed like there was a lot of them. There was, there was about ten. They usually come in pairs. Um, but they said that they were training new people. Um, they didn't look like your normal... Your, your normal um, book binding people. They didn't wear glasses. They didn't have an educated look. As now that I think about it, there was lots of tattoos, and they they. Um... Now, Florence, this is a new age, and you can have tattoos and also be educated. So maybe you need to reflect on that when you have some free time. You reflect on that uh, when when she mentions. When she mentions that, Byron just unconsciously like grabs the back of his vest and shirt, just kind of like pulls it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, he just kind of oh no, we gotta hide that. Um... Oh god, I'm blanking on the word of it. Tramp stamp. <laughs> we gotta hide the tramp stamp. <laughs> oh, you Byron see, maybe shove her right. hands in her pockets. Just. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone else just kind of subtly covering. Um, Nyx will stand up and um, <laughs> kind of stiffly, stiffly nod to her and just say, if they, if they do come back, um, send a message immediately to, well, to the Bronze Mall and let them know that they can contact the... The yep. badge bunnies. <laughs> I don't think they'll and know what that means. They the will. <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't told them. <laughs> Let they're, them know they're... that they can contact us, the badge <laughs> bunnies. Oh, by the they're... way, audience. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was apparently there's uh, been a name for the group. And the badge bunnies. And now she better tell everyone. You tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I could just no, you guys help. here's where their office is at if you'd like is, to know is this the 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 company that has done your books before yes and yes, their work's been good yeah and she points to a couple other books um the binding looks really good um but she shows you the document with the address and at the bottom it says a subsidiary of Prowler. What doesn't Prowler do? 
What don't they have their greedy little paws in? Oh my gosh. The lemon bar corporate, business. Corporate we start a bakery. <laughs> you, are you sure? You look at the bottom of your, uh, of your. No, uh, not the briefcase. <laughs> the the bottom is in the Nix's face. <laughs> yeah. And it says, made by Prowler in Donver's hold. The camera yeah. pulls in. Yeah, to drop to her knees. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, well, ugh, all right. Thanks. Thanks, Florence, for. Thank you for all of your um, uh, knowledge. And we'll certainly do what we can to um, not uh, interrupt the rest of your day. And hopefully, the book will find its way back to you. Maybe look at hiring a different company next time. But. Like I said, if they come back around, we are we're very very good at um, beating up ruffians, which are very worried about in this area. So please There's, don't hesitate to rely upon us. It is it is terrible how many ruffians there are, and uh, as long as you bring back this tall drink of water, and she takes her finger and runs it down Casper's chest. I'll... Casper just watches her do that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks back up. In, in your in your head, you hear, "Why is she touching us? Why? Why are you allowing this?" Um, Kill her. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, she uh, she she says she will tell everyone she knows about the great and powerful badge bunnies. Okay. All right. We ready to dip. I believe so. Let's uh, let's head to a new address. Okay. Yeah. Do we know which area of Donvers Hold the company is in? Um. So. There's an address on the card, but I don't know. Yeah. This you know. this is near um the uh the Enchanters Guild, and so is the yeah. It's all kind of in the same area, within a couple blocks of each other. Cool. So um. Guys, does that mean we're just going up against Prowler now? Because I'll be honest with you, I kind of well, I mean, I kind of have been for a while. Uh, ever since I uh, took that thing from them that I didn't realize was you know that important, I didn't think they'd notice. I just thought it'd be an item. Um, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of pissed at me, and I mean, obviously, they hired the assassins that. Uh, tried to attack us and you know they did also yeah we we, we talked about that the, the new oh. dragon that's going to be appearing and also that their high-ranked member is a dragon and i'm not saying that those two things are guaranteed to be connected um but it is maybe something that we should keep an eye out for hey justin Yes. How far does Prowler's reach extend in terms of location? Like, is it specifically Donvers Hold? Everywhere. <laughs> They're a big ass company. Like, would Maeve know of them? I can't remember if we discussed this at all when we were prep and I was prepping the character. Give me a give me a history check. Oh. I just wonder if they've reached eighteen. If they've reached like her area where she grew up and stuff. So yeah, you've heard of them. Mm -hmm. um it's not like um you they are as big as it is here but mm -hmm. you you would know of them from prowler cola so that's their they have a, a big soda company oh they're the ones that make that soda i freaking love that soda what's the deal what's the problem with them it has a flame yeah. retardant in the soda <laughs> what you're rotting your insides mate don't drink that stuff but beyond that you shouldn't be supporting prowler i'm pretty sure that if you're wow, going to stick deal? with us well well then tell me the reality is they appear to be an increasingly shady company who maybe try to kill us at one point in time they don't allow their workers to unionize they <laughs> all of the people at the top of the company are making way too much money to be ethical that we have constantly been attacked by them over and over again. I just, 
They're bad. They're a bad group of people. <laughs> They're a bad group of people. <laughs> but for all, but for all the capitalist reasons, and also all of the very real life and danger reasons. I heard one of their warehouses just used an eyes, actually. So uh, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> And again, they have a dragon as a leader, and I mean, Aruma is beautiful, but I just don't really have a lot of faith in dragons right now with the whole end of the world business that's coming about. Fair enough. This is all tying in. I don't know. What does a dragon want with a book about dragons? Uh, what does a guy in a dark cloak who we see standing over a murdered body that appears above a cave and then we never see again what do they have to do with it i don't know but they seem to really i think that was just some random guy i don't, <laughs> I don't know maybe some murderer maybe we would have found out more about him if he hadn't thrown a jab oh my god right <laughs> monologue. we've been over this i i'm just i don't think that you can say that he's maybe some random guy when we could have maybe found out a little bit well, more we don't know i, I don't know <laughs> are we gonna have this fight again are we gonna have this fight again yeah let's have this fight again <laughs> right now <laughs> And Byron just walks like over and grabs a lift broom and looks at Maeve and says, round two. <laughs> Hell yeah. As don't, don't let me back on the horse. <laughs> as you guys walk out of the library, there is a giant shadow over top of you as the form of a ancient black dragon flies mm. a black dra and azul our, our last dragon was not black correct nope and that is where we're going to end tonight what do you mean what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean a giant ancient black dragon we got this <laughs> And you idiots burned your inspiration already. <laughs> I have you no thinking? regrets. But I hey, have absolutely no regrets. May want to race though, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. So we need to get some inspiration for next week. What you got I'm there? Be, I'm gonna be really honest. I listen some may some may argue against this but i'm gonna give it to kite sage again because of his excellent use of his inspiration tonight wow that's why a... are you making that casey that it was i'm gonna give it to kite sage because he gave it to me <laughs> no i thought it was listen if he had given Thank it you. Kai honestly you've acknowledged rigged so, i don't think so. like, I, if he had if he had given it if i had not been the one racing <laughs> and he had given it to someone racing in that timing. It was very well timed. Do you want me to pick someone else? I can pick someone else. Well, it's so not it about seems... the fact that he gave it to me. It's about the fact that it was very funny how he used it. Is the, what uh, I'm trying to do. The inspiration economy has become like NFTs. They just give it back and forth to each other. But no, <laughs> you, you, you give it to me next time. You've picked. You've picked Kite Sage. Kite Sage. Uh, you have inspiration again next week. Um, so good job. Way the, to... the the inspiration system He's... in this is just perfectly corrupt. Yes. <laughs> it's just not, not... They're not trying to be corrupt. I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I say... just thought it was this funny. Room, it's very appropriate. I, like I it. just thought it was funny. Okay, well that's all that matters. This is this is like uh, Cards Against Humanity. It's the person who's uh, who's the 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 who has the the black card that gets to decide which one wins. So. Good job. And with that, we're going to run away. Uh, right, we, really, we really appreciate you all. Have a good evening, and okay. we'll see you. Bye, everybody. Bye.